they are probably the most famous fortified wines in the world um, and they have their own unique flavours and tastes. I mean, obviously there are many different styles of port, but in general they've got uh, their own unique flavours and tastes and they kind of suit certain occasions. The most special aspect of port, the wine, is the way it somehow decants the incredible UNESCO registered landscape into a drink that somehow represents that wildness being tamed. It has this incredible complexity and all these incredible blends and it has the most incredible terroirs and the most incredible places that it comes from. But it was at a masterclass like this that you really understand how much goes into making it because coleta, you think it's just one vintage one year that's just been sitting in a barrel for a long time. But when we started blending all the, just those subtle differences of adding the little bit of the older wine and it changed it so much and you just realize so much more goes into it than you re than you knew in the first place but how often do you have a wine that old well colliata and vintage that was very very interesting because of course colliata is aged in barrel and the vintage is aged in the bottle it's bottled young and then it's been aged in bottle and the difference was dramatic there was a difference of colour. Immediately you could see the difference in colour. Then when you tasted them, um, the smell and the taste was completely different between the two wines. The intensity, concentration of the colliata, which has been aged in barrel, and it's, it's, it, the, the water you know, the, the, has evaporated, so the wine is concentrated with age. Whereas, of course, with the vintage cuvee, vintage, of course, has been in bottles, so it can't evaporate. But instead, what's happened is the colour has dropped out of it as it's aged. So you've got a much paler colour, and you get a completely different taste. So I, I brought some older wines to use as a bonificateur in the very small quantities. And I thought it was fun to see everyone playing with those chemistry sets, if you want, and, and uh, trying three drops of uh, very old wines, like 09 or 24, depending on the choice of the, 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 the they're doing, and get the people excited to, to <laughs> how they change completely the wine, and that they continue changing during the tasting because the, the wines don't stabilize immediately, they don't achieve the equilibrium immediately, so they need time. And they were really playing and, and seeing how magnificent is the, the world of fine tanning, how it's, it's interesting. And also the, the, the finish of the last flight of the tasting with the comparing of the 24 Kuliaita and, and the vintage from Mortir, both from Mortir, I think it's an amazing experience for everyone. And showing a new vintage, it's always a surprise for everyone. And again, a vintage from Bonchti, it's interesting to, to see how people react. And I think it was a good reaction.